everyone, and welcome to the 2019-2020 Griffin Athletic Banquet. Once again, I am your host, Sean Ferfaro, and I am pleased to be here with you tonight. Obviously, tonight's athletic banquet has a different look and feel than we're used to here at the University of Guelph. We hope you're all safe, we hope you're all healthy, and while we're disappointed that we can't all be in the same room to celebrate together as one big Griffin Varsity family, we are still going to celebrate tonight. So we're gonna do our best to celebrate those accomplishments of all of our student athletes from the 2019-2020 season. But before we get started, let's take a look at the year that was in Griffin Athletics. An animal stuck in a cage and I'm ready to break out My time, my time None of you people can tell me to stop This time, like the last time You better get ready to race to the top I'm ready to do this Show you what the truth is I step on the field, it's time to get real I'm feeling so ruthless My time, my time None of you people can tell me to stop Dream. Lower the lights down Hand over my crown Hand over my heart I do this for my town I do this for my crowd So turn me up real loud My time, my time None of you people can tell me to stop Yeah. So what are you afraid of? Those feelings are made of Get in the game, your moment of fame Show them what you made of It's time that we stand up It's time that we stand up For anyone asking who is the best We putting our hands up my time, my time, nothing can keep me from reaching the top This time, like the last time, I'm moving so fast, I'm ready to I'm rise I'm ready to throw down, it's time for the showdown I'm ready to rise, don't be surprised, I'll take on the world now My time, my time, none of you people can tell me to stop Lower the lights down, hand over my crown, hand over my heart I do this for my town, I do this for my crowd So turn me up real loud, my time We have 14 major award winners to announce tonight, as well as our Griffey Moment of the Year. But before we get started on that, allow me to introduce the president here at the University of Guelph, Dr. Franco Vaccarino. Well, welcome everyone to our very first virtual athletics banquet at the University of Guelph. And this is another first actually for our University of Guelph athletes after a, a, a terrific, uh, terrific year. I really want to just begin by by saying thank you and acknowledging our amazing student athletes. Um, what a year it's been! I've had the great opportunity of of getting out to some of the uh, games and events over the year, and uh, my observation is is that whether it's uh, you know in the stadium, in the arena, or on on the field and the track field, um, what a what a what a group of outstanding uh, athletes we have, and what a fantastic year uh, it's uh, it's been. You know, when I think about our student athletes, I think about uh, the the balancing act that they they have to uh, go through uh, during the year, and and by that I'm referring to you know on the one hand they're students, on the other hand they're high performing athletes, and and uh, you are all an absolute model, uh, a model for the university in many ways, a model uh, because of, of of that balance uh, that, that that you that you achieve uh, so uh, so so well, strong on the field, strong uh, on the uh, in in the classroom. 
And I would say that this particular year has been a, 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 an even stronger example of that, that very point. Uh, because we have been stress tested uh, this year. I mean, that would be an understatement in many ways. Uh, it's, been a, it's been a tough year. We're, we're being stress tested right now uh, with this COVID-19 um, uh, pandemic that we are, we are working through and doing our part to help. But we're also we're, we're stress tested leading, leading up to it with uh, the challenges uh, that we had. And you know, as I was reflecting on, on this whole period, um, one of the thoughts that occurred to me is that the metaphor of a stress test. You know, if you really want to know uh, what the heart is made of, you stress test the heart, and and you 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 learn about its full capacity, its upper limits. Well, I have to tell you, uh, our University of Guelph athletes uh, were stress tested this year in so many ways, and uh, they performed unbelievably. As I said, both on the field and and uh, off the field, and in many ways, uh, you are truly, truly models. You are models of integrity. You are models of resilience for our entire entire campus, and I mean that so very, very deeply. I can't say enough about how blown away I am by everything uh, that you have accomplished uh, this year through really, really challenging uh, times. This particular period that we're in, we are going to work together. We are going to get through it, um, and um, we will see the sunshine. And we're going to get through it uh, together with common purpose. Um, and uh, that common purpose is, has been reflected in your own achievements and your own successes, and the ripple effects of how you approach your own um, your, your own performance and your own um, uh, your own athletic uh, endeavors. I think are, are felt by the entire community. And for that, I want to say a huge, huge thank you for, for everything you do and for the impact you have on the entire U university. I also want to take this opportunity to give a shout out to the coaches and the staff. Um, I've had the, the opportunity to, to cross paths with a, a number of them over the year, year and um, they are just uh, absolutely terrific. Their passion, their commitment to supporting uh, our athletes and in doing so supporting the entire uh, university is a huge, huge point of pride for me. It's a huge point of pride for the entire uh, university. And so on that note, let me wish you all the very, very best. Please stay safe, stay well, and stay healthy. All the very, very best. Enjoy the rest of the banquet. Thank you, Franco. It is now my pleasure to introduce the Vice Provost of Student Affairs and the biggest Griffin fan you will meet, Dr. Kerry Chassels. Welcome, and thank you for joining us for the first ever Virtual Griffins Athletic Banquet. In response to the COVID-19 pandemic, we have prioritized social distancing, which has impacted many plans. And tonight's Griffin's Athletic Banquet is one of those plans that has been altered. Our world has changed so much in just a few short weeks. I, we thank each of you for your patience, your understanding, your resilience, and your teamwork as we continue to work through this unprecedented situation together. I know that one of our many strengths at the University of Guelph is our sense of community. I'm confident that is this sense of community will allow us to move forward during these difficult times. I've seen so many examples that have generated so much Griffin pride in me and in our entire community over the past year. We have so much to celebrate, so much to be proud of, and so much positive energy to harness as we work together and combat COVID-19. Student athletes are talented, talented individuals. I'm inspired by your grit, your commitment, your dedication to yourselves, each other, your sport. Your work ethic is beyond compare, and I am so, so proud of you. You work hard at everything you do, whether you're on the playing fields, courts, ice, or in the classroom. Student athletes balance many, many competing demands on your time, on your energy, on your focus, from your studies, to your training, to your competitions, and your classmates and teammates. Always there to support each other in whatever it is that you're focusing on at a particular time. A total of 193 Guelph Griffins were U Sports Academic, All Canadians, and OUA Achievement Award winners last year. 
to see that 25.7%, one in four of our student athletes, our scholars, speaks to their commitment to excellence. Give yourselves a big round of applause. Thank you to our student athletes, coaches and support staff for how you represent us here in the community and across the country. I raise my cowbell. Cheers to you, Griffins. Thank you, Carrie. And before we get to our major award winners, please allow me to introduce our Director of Athletics, Scott McRoberts. Hey, Griffins, and welcome to our first virtual athletic banquet. Uh, I'm thinking about all of you during these unprecedented times, and if there's one thing I know, our Griffin family more than ever this year is a resilient bunch, and we as a family will get through this together, and I look forward to seeing you back on campus. We're here to, tonight to celebrate your academic, athletic, and community accomplishments. I couldn't be more proud of you for your success of the season, the way you carried yourself in the community, and all the great things that represent our Griffin values. We are here to be connected tonight as a group, and we're doing that virtually. So as you're having your home virtual viewing parties, so am I with my family. And rugby players, I'm just wondering what you're wearing as a group tonight. I'll leave it at that. The athletic banquet has been a special time and continues to be a special time as we culminate our season and the great accomplishments. I wanna thank all the coaches and support staff that have worked tirelessly this year to support you. And to our graduating Griffins, we will miss you so much. I want to say goodbye to each and every one of you. Please come back, please visit, and please support those Griffins that come after you, as those Griffins did so before. All of you, I wish you the best to you and your families. On behalf of the department, thank you for everything you do, the way you represent our school, and be safe, stay healthy, and I can't wait to see you again. Congratulations. Thank you, Scott. What a year for Griffin Athletics. 51 student athletes were named U Sports All-Canadian. 104 student athletes were named OUA All-Stars. Five of our teams won OUA championships and our men's and women's track and field teams both repeated as national champions. Normally at this point, we would acknowledge the MVPs and MIPs for all 32 of our varsity teams. This year, you can find that list on griffins.ca. Congratulations to all of our Griffin MVPs and MIPs. It's now time to unveil our major award winners. And first up, we have the award for Kathy Rowe, Manager of the Year. This year's Kathy Rowe, Manager of the Year is Natasia Liu from Wrestling. After competing for five seasons as a member of the Griffins Varsity Wrestling Program, Natasia seamlessly transitioned into her role as team manager for the 2019-2020 season. Natasia's excellent work ethic and organizational skills allowed her to effectively manage several of the wrestling team's administrative duties, including organizing tournament schedules, as well as leading communications around event registration and recruitment. Natasia's passion for design, which was enhanced throughout her studies at U of G as a landscape architecture major, were also on full display this past year as she produced new images and content for the Guelph Wrestling Twitter and Instagram accounts, while also leading the design of the new Griffin singlets, which were worn by the U of G varsity wrestlers for the 2019-20 season. The Gunnar Oberskov's Trainer of the Year Award. The nominees are from field hockey, Lauren Philippi and Majesta Roth. From men's hockey, Rebecca Campbell, Rachel Duffy, and Caleb Leary. From men's rugby, Danielle Blanchett. From women's hockey, Riley Arsenault. And from wrestling, Taylor Lee. And the winner of the Gunnar Oberskov's Trainer of the Year is Riley Arsenault from Women's Hockey.
Throughout the 2019-20 women's hockey season, Riley established herself as one of the top student trainers in all of Griffin Athletics, thanks to her exceptional leadership skills and tremendous compassion towards the student athletes. Riley took the initiative to form an injury tracking spreadsheet for the Griffin's women's hockey team and communicated this daily as needed with both coaches and athletic therapy staff. Her communication regarding injury updates was second to none, while her care for the student athletes was evident daily. The Dr. Mary Beverly Burton Female Rookie of the Year. The nominees are from women's basketball, Makili Schantz. From field hockey, Sydney Evans. From women's lacrosse, Jade Barco. From women's rugby, Kendra Kuzina. From women's soccer, Kate Knopfel. And from women's track and field, Mia Rodney. And the winner of the Dr. Mary Beverly Burton Female Rookie of the Year is Kate Knopfel from women's soccer. Kate is an 18-year-old native of Ridgeville, Ontario, and she was one of just two OUA first-year players to earn a spot among the 12 best rookies in the country as part of the 2019 U-Sports All-Rookie Team. The Marine and Freshwater Biology major became just the second player in program history to be named OUA Rookie of the Year, joining teammate Victoria Hinchcliffe, who did so in 2016. Kate's stellar first season in the OUA saw her finish third on the team in scoring with five goals in 11 games, including a game-winning goal in her U Sports debut on August 31st, a 2-1 victory over York. The Scott Yonkis Male Rookie of the Year Award. The nominees are from football, Justin Lozon. From men's hockey, Giordano Finoro. From Nordic Ski, Alec McLean. From men's soccer, Moses Kafiro. From men's track and field, Gunnar Ijolfsson. And from men's volleyball, Jonathan Pickett. And the winner of the Scott Yonkis Male Rookie of the Year is Gunnar Ijolfsson from Men's Track and Field. In his first season with the Griffins Men's Track and Field team, Gunnar takes home Male Rookie of the Year honors thanks to a standout 2019-20 campaign. Gunnar, an arts and science major who hails from Iceland, helped lead the Griffins Men's team to a fourth straight OUA title with a gold medal performance at the 2020 OUA Track and Field Championships. He followed up his OUA gold medal with a U-Sports silver medal at Nationals, earning U-Sports second team All-Canadian honours in the men's heptathlon while contributing to a dominant team title from the Griffin men, who finished 70 points ahead of the second place Calgary Dinos in the final team standings. The Shirley Peterson Award. The nominees are from women's basketball, Skyla Miniker. From women's cross country and track and field, Sadie Jane Hickson. From field hockey, Mackenzie Jansen. From women's rugby, Talia Hoffman. From women's soccer, Vanessa Mazur. And from women's wrestling, Hannah Little. And the award goes to Sadie Jane Hickson from women's cross country and track and field. 
Third year biomedical science major Sadie Jane Hickson takes home the Shirley Peterson Award after a sensational 2019-20 season with the Griffin cross country and track teams. Hickson, a native of Oakwood, Ontario, made a total of three trips to the podium at Nationals, contributing to a pair of gold medal winning relay teams, the women's 4x400 meter relay and 4x800 meter relay, as well as earning a U Sports silver medal in the women's 1000 meters. Over the course of her three seasons as a member of the Griffin track team, Hickson has improved her placing each year, both in cross country as well as on the track, and now has earned a total of five U Sports medals, four gold and one silver, as well as six OUA medals, four gold, one silver and one bronze during her U of G track career. The Don Cameron Award. The nominees are from men's basketball, Rashid Weeks. From men's hockey, Todd Winder. From men's rugby, Quentin McLean Lovato. From men's soccer, Eric Hermans. From men's track and field, Kurdell Reason. And from men's volleyball, Zarko Ubiparip. And the winner of the Don Cameron Award is Zarko Ubiparip from men's volleyball. After being named an OUA West second team all-star a season ago, Zarko Ubiparip went one step further this season as he was named an OUA West first team all-star. A product of Kitchener, Ontario, the third-year student-athlete led the Griffins in kills with 194, which was good enough to tie for fifth in the OUA. His 227.5 points accumulated during the campaign was also good for fifth in the conference. Zarko also provided problems for his opponents with his serve, tallying 19 service aces while helping lead the Griffins to an OUA Final Four appearance. The Fred Ramprashad Award. The award will recognize the student that best demonstrates the combination of academic excellence in biological science and participation in intercollegiate athletics. And the recipient of the Fred Ramprashad Award is Emily Nickel from Women's Rugby. Fifth year women's rugby standout Emily Nickel takes home the Fred Ramprashad Award after a phenomenal 2019 season both on the rugby pitch as well as in the classroom. On the field, Emily helped lead the Griffins women's rugby team to an OUA silver medal and a fourth place finish at nationals. Off the field, Emily earned a 92.1 GPA while also serving as a student athlete mentor in the Griffin SAM program. The Toronto native was an active participant in the Griffin Leadership Academy where she worked on several projects that supported the efforts in the Griffin's intercollegiate program. This award is established through the direction of the College of Biological Science alumni to honor Professor Fred Ramprashad for his commitment to the college and to the athletic programs at Guelph. The nominees for the President's Trophy Female. From Women's Cross Country and Track and Field, Kiana Gibson. From Field Hockey, Kayla Magarelli. From Nordic Skiing, Allison Caswell. From Women's Rugby, Emanuela Jada. And from women's volleyball, Alex Curran. And the winner of the President's Trophy is Alex Curran from women's volleyball. Alex Curran, a fourth year setter on the Griffins women's volleyball team, put together her latest standout season in what has become an already memorable Griffin career. For a third straight season, the Aurora, Ontario native was named an OUA West First Team All-Star, registering 630 assists this season 
Curran led the OUA in the category while finishing fourth in the province in assists per set with 8.75. Using a combination of her tremendous talent, work ethic and experience, Curran has been as dependable as they come, taking the second touch and helped lead the Griffins to an OUA bronze medal, their first podium appearance in nine seasons. She accomplished all of this while excelling in the classroom where she earned a 90% average over the fall and winter semesters while majoring in psychology. The President's Trophy, male. The nominees are from men's cross country and track and field, Mitch Eubeen. From Nordic skiing, Declan Barber. From men's soccer, Mitch Lefebvre. And from men's swimming, Daniel Barros. And the winner is Mitch Eubeen from men's cross country and track and field. Fourth year standout Mitch Eubeen became just the 16th individual in Griffin history to be named the individual champion at the OUA Men's Cross Country Championships. On October 26th in Hamilton, Eubeen finished first in a field of 85 runners to help lead the Griffins men's cross country team to their 17th OUA team title in the last 21 years. At Nationals, Eubeen once again led the way for Guelph, this time finishing second overall to help guide the Griffins to a U Sports bronze medal finish in the team standings. The Tecumseh, Ontario native, who also competed indoors for the Griffins during the winter semester as a member of the U of G National Championship winning track team, accomplished all of this while obtaining an 85% average while majoring in mechanical engineering. The W.F. Mitchell Sportswoman and Sportsman of the Year Awards. These two awards are open to one male and one female student at the University of Guelph participating on intercollegiate teams. The recipient must be in their graduating year. The individual must have demonstrated outstanding talent and ability in their sport, combined with exceptional leadership and involvement in athletics at the University of Guelph. The nominees for the W.F. Mitchell Sportswoman Award. From women's basketball, Ashley Wheeler. From women's cross country and track and field, Danielle Jocinette. From field hockey, Katherine McMillan. From women's rugby, Emily Nickel. And from women's swimming, Shania Van Herk. And the winner of the W.F. Mitchell Sportswoman of the Year is Katherine McMillan from field hockey. Katherine McMillan takes home the W.F. Mitchell Sportswoman Award after a sensational fifth and final year on the Griffin field hockey team. The Kitchener native scored the game-winning goal on home soil in a 1-0 win over U of T in the OUA gold medal game. The victory gave Guelph their first OUA title since 2013 and marked the fifth conference banner in program history. In 2019, McMillan also became just the fifth Griffin field hockey player in school history to be named National Player of the Year as she took home the Liz Hoffman Award at the U Sports Field Hockey All-Canadian Banquet in Victoria, BC, where the Griffins took home national silver medals. Catherine's memorable 2019 campaign saw her finish second in the OUA with 12 goals, four of which were game winners, leading her to earn U Sports All-Canadian honors for the second time in her career. The W.F. Mitchell Sportsman Award. The nominees are from men's basketball, Banky Alade. From men's cross country and track and field, Mark Patton. From football, Alex Jaffs. 
from men's soccer, Jace Katsopoulos. And from men's wrestling, Alexander Chaves. And the winner of the W.F. Mitchell Sportsman Award is Alexander Chaves from Men's Wrestling. Guelph native Alexander Chaves ends his Griffin career as the recipient of the W.F. Mitchell Sportsman Award following a dominant wrestling season. The landscape architecture major defended his national title at the 2020 U Sports Wrestling Championships, taking home the gold in the men's 72 kilo weight class for a second year in a row. Alexander defeated Alberta's Aiden McCage in the final, capping a memorable week in St. Catharines for the fifth year veteran, who gave up just two points the entire tournament. Chaves finishes his Griffin career as both an OUA and U Sports gold medalist and leaves the 2020 U Sports Wrestling Championships, having won each of his matches by technical superiority. Over the course of this year's OUA and U Sports Wrestling Championships, Alex outscored his opponents by a combined score of 76 to 2. Female Athlete of the Year. The nominees are from women's basketball, Burke Bashard. From field hockey, Catherine McMillan. From women's rugby, Julia Schell. And from women's track and field, Zoe Sherrard. And the winner of the Female Athlete of the Year is Zoe Sherrar from Women's Track and Field. Third year's track standout Zoe Sherrar earns Female Athlete of the Year honors following a sensational season in which she earned a total of six gold medals, three OUA golds and three U Sports golds, while helping lead the Griffins women's track team to both OUA and national team titles. The Toronto native who majors in economics and geographic information systems has quickly established herself as one of the best collegiate long sprinters in Canadian history. Zoe was named the OUA track MVP for her performances throughout the course of the regular season. After dominating at the OUA championships, Zoe capped off her outstanding year with a new school record in her gold medal winning performance in the women's 300 meter. She was also part of a pair of gold medal winning relay teams, including the women's 4x400 relay team. Male Athlete of the Year. The nominees are from football and wrestling, Job Reinhardt. From men's soccer, Alexander Zies. From men's track and field, Mark Bujnowski. And from men's wrestling, Alexander Chaves. And the winner of the Male Athlete of the Year is Joe Reinhardt from football and wrestling. Joe Reinhardt earns Male Athlete of the Year honors after yet another standout season as a decorated two-sport athlete with the Griffin football and wrestling teams. The Guelph native who was selected by the Calgary Stampeders in the 2019 CFL Draft began his fifth and final year as a Griffin by anchoring one of the top defensive units in all of U-Sports football. As the starting middle linebacker on the OUA's number one ranked scoring defense, Reinhardt earned OUA second team all-star honors after racking up 44.5 tackles, 4.5 sacks, as well as a forced fumble during an exceptional 2019 season in which the Griffins posted a 6-2 record en route to reaching the OUA semifinals. Reinhardt also solidified himself as one of the top special teams players in U-Sports football, handling long snapping duties and helping lead the Griffin coverage units. Following the football season, Job turned his attention to the wrestling mat where he reached the podium at both the conference and national levels. At the OUA Championships, 
Reinhardt earned a silver in the men's 100 kilo and followed that up by taking home bronze at the eSports Championships. The landscape architecture native ends his Griffin wrestling career with a total of six medals, four at the OUA level, two at the national level. Next up is our Griffey Moment of the Year Award. This award was created following the 2015-16 season as a way to acknowledge and celebrate those special moments that occur throughout the course of a season that become etched in our memories and that become part of Griffin legend. The 2019-20 Griffey nominees are Football with the Carlton Ravens leading the Griffins 17-16 and only one minute and four seconds left to play in the OUA quarterfinals. Griffin rookie Siriman Harrison Bagayogo came up with the biggest football play of his life. Are you kidding me? As I live and breathe, the unbelievable has happened. Bagayogo, and they are dancing up a storm. As the Ravens attempted to punt, from their own 33-yard line, Bagayogo broke through to block the punt before recovering the bouncing ball in the Carlton end zone, giving Guelph one of the most dramatic playoff wins in program history. Men's Hockey Winning the Queen's Cup is the goal for every player in OUA men's hockey. Valentini charging at the blue line. But doing so in triple overtime in front of a sold out home crowd? Well, that's the sort of thing dreams are made of. And that's exactly what second year forward Ted Nickel did, scoring 114 into the third overtime period on Saturday, March the 7th to dramatically lift the Griffins to a 2-1 win over the Ottawa GGs in the 109th edition of the Queen's Cup. For five straight seasons, from 2014 to 2018, the Guelph Griffins field hockey team was forced to settle for silver at the OUA Championships. used her height there to take advantage of On Sunday, October 27th, on their home field, after having reached the OUA title game yet again, the Griffins made sure to go home with a different color of medal. Fifth year senior, Catherine McMillan scored the only goal of the OUA gold medal match, lifting the Griffins to a one Nothing victory over the U of T Varsity Blues, giving Guelph their fifth OUA title in program history and first since 2013. Track and field. Even by the lofty standards of the Griffin Track and Field program, this season's performances were next level. The Griffins men's and women's track and field teams capped off perhaps the greatest single season in program history with dominant banner sweeps at both the OUA and U Sports Championships. The Griffins ran away from the competition at Nationals in Edmonton with the men's team finishing 70 points ahead of the next closest school, while the women's team finished 51 and a half points better than their closest competitor. In the end, it was the third straight season in which the Griffin track teams swept national titles. And the Griffey goes to Triple OT for the ages, men's hockey. Congratulations to all 14 of our major award winners. The information on all of those award winners as well as the lists of the individual team MVP and MIPs are available at griffins.ca. Thanks to everybody for joining our unique 
Athletic Banquet for 2019 and 2020. A special thank you to all of our graduating seniors. Thank you for the time you've put in in a Griffin uniform. We hope everybody is safe and healthy, and we can't wait to see you all as soon as possible.